guys, it's Glenn from GlennCarCollection.com, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite cars, the Honda S2000 CR. This car sold for over $80,000, and I'm going to tell you why. Remember, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you're already a subscriber because we're posting extra videos while we're all stuck at home, and you won't want to miss those videos. Like and share this video so our channel can grow, and as always, leave your positive comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the sale of this Honda S2000 CR. All right, so for in order for us to understand why this car sold for $80,000, I think we got to do a little background on the uh, Honda S2000 CR. CR actually stands for Club Racer. And the S2000 here in the United States was built from model year 2000 to 2009. 2000 to 2003 are known as the AP1 cars. 2004 to 2009 is the AP2 cars. They had some you know, body changes, some modifications, suspension changes. The very end of that run, remember I said the last year was 2009, so the last two years, 2008 and 2009, they sold the regular S2000 plus a CR version. Think of the CR as the GT3 to the 911. So this was the car where you're really track focused. They took away the convertible top, put a uh, black hard top. The hard tops only came in black. It was a very focused car, had uh, front and rear spoilers. It had a slightly stiffer suspension, CR exclusive interior. It was actually slower acceleration, but gave the car more stability on the track. Now, of those 66,000 Honda S2000s that were sold here in the United States during those 10 model years, 2000 to 2009, they only sold 699 club racers, and they came in four colors. So they came in Apex Blue, which is my favorite, Black, White, which is the rarest color and sells for the most money, and this Rio Yellow. Now, the real yellow, I do actually love that color. The S2000s have really uh, grown on me in yellow, and I'd love to have any S yellow S2000s. <laughs> so it's actually uh, real yellow pearl is the exact color. So let's get in the history of this and uh, why this car sold for what it did. S2000s weren't selling that well. They came out with the AP2 to make the car a little more livable, the suspension a little less forgiving updated it to give it a more modern look, bigger wheels in 2004, a lot of changes. Then there were some more significant changes in 2006, if you've seen in my other S2000 videos. I'm a multiple S2000 owner. I've owned an 04 and an 06. Both original cars, very original cars, original paint, original everything. 9,000 mile example, 11,000 mile example. In 2004, sales were very slow, so they had revised it as the, uh, the AP2. These cars didn't sell well. They had a uh, $299 a month lease for a brand new S2000, which had a base price, and they pretty much just come one way. You pick your colors. There were few, if any, options, roughly $34,000. I know a lot of people that walked into the dealership, if they didn't want the lease, they were able to buy that car uh, for about $3,000 off sticker. 2005, still weren't selling that well, even though they sold a lot in general from 04 to 05, but they had a $329 a month lease, or $325 somewhere in that in that uh, genre. Still weren't great sellers as they got to 06, 07, 8, 9. They were barely selling any of these cars. You could easily walk into the dealership and probably get three to 5,000 off. That club racer was for the hardcore enthusiasts. And when I used to autocross, or when I do autocross, that's where you usually find these club racers. Nowadays, they're either owned by racers who have always been racing them since day one when they bought them, or collectors. Now, I remember when the economy tanked, we'll call it the Great Recession, 2008, 2009, Looking at these cars on AutoTrader and Cars.com, there were brand new cars in 2010, 2011 that never sold. White was the rarest color. They only made about 90 of those, so they would always sold for the most money. Apex Blue was always very popular, sold for good money. Uh, the yellow and black were much cheaper than sell well. I remember seeing pages and pages of real Rio Yellow Pearl uh, Honda S2000 CRs in AutoTrader in cars.com and just nobody was buying these cars. They were heavily discounted and still nobody bought them. Now these cars had 17 inch wheels. They had 215 45s in the front, 255 40s in the back. The original OEM tires that came on the car were Bridgestone REO 70 tires. And the wheels had uh, distinctive wheels with a dark gray finish. They all had this interior with the uh, yellowish inserts and stitching. So whether you got an Apex blue car, Real yellow, black, white, you had that same interior. So that's another way to identify the S2000. The four-cylinder, 2.2 liter, remained unchanged. Still 237 horsepower like the regular AP2 and 162 foot-pounds of torque. Six-speed manual only, 
and a torsion limited slip differential. Now this car, first of all, is one of the cleanest cars I ever saw. Now it actually sold on Bring a Trailer. Now of those 699 club racers, only 140 were real yellow pearl. Again, yellow wasn't a big color when it's new, though I know a lot of the collectors are looking for these cars now. Now Bring a Trailer obviously is an auction site, and we've done a bunch of Bring a Trailer videos where people are bidding against the car. So for an auction to work and give the highest for the seller, and the selling dealer was really smart putting on Bring a Trailer, is to obviously have people uh, bidding against each other. You get emotional, you buy with your heart instead of your brain, and obviously the car goes up in value. Bring a Trailer only, and this is not an advertisement for Bring a Trailer, they're not paying me any money. If they want to give me a check, I'll gladly cash it. Good for the seller, because if you have a clean car, it's good for the seller, not if you had an accident car or repainted car, because people were pretty harsh on this site, but definitely good uh, for the seller if you have a clean car to sell it on this site. They only charge you $250, which is very, very competitive, and you get a lot of buzz. You can sell this car, most of the auctions last five days, seven days, 10 days, so you get a lot of bidding, and obviously bidding, uh, a lot of people watching it, drives up the price. So this car sold for a really good price. Now the buyer, what a lot of people forget, have to pay a 5% premium that's capped at $5,000. So even if you bought a $150,000 Lamborghini or McLaren on Bring a Trailer, you would not pay more than $5,000. But that's still, you remember, got to add to the price. So this car, as far as the auction went, sold for $76,500. And that's the highest I've ever seen for a CR. I've seen white ones asking $50,000, $60,000, which are very rare, but I've never seen uh, yellow ones bring this money. Remember the buyer, and I love this car, so I would buy it if I had the money, uh, has to pay a premium above that. So with the premium, we're looking at just over $80,000. You got to pay your sales tax when you register in your home state. For example, if that's 6%, you're paying another 4,800 on top of that 80,000. And because this car is in pristine condition, and that's one of the reasons it brought in all the money, you're gonna to wanna to ship it in clothes. And that can be anywhere from 1,000 to $3,000 depending where you live. So you're really pushing 85 to 90 grand by the time you get this car in your garage. So who would spend that kind of money? Why would you spend so much money? Well, one of the biggest reasons on this, and uh, obviously made this car worth way more money than any other S2000 CR, where the, uh, I don't think the exterior color makes a difference anymore. This car only had less than 1,300 miles. I've never seen a CR with less than 1,300 miles. I've seen 10,000, 5,000, 4,000. And those cars usually sell for about 50,000. Maybe there are people asking more than that, but any sales I've seen are probably about 50. So this may be the lowest mileage in existence. So why is it so low? How does that make any sense? Well, Honda actually owned this car themselves, and then it was bought by a Honda employee. So it didn't go really, let's say, to the outside world until uh, this dealer bought it in 2019. And I believe that the, uh, the employee bought that maybe two years before that. So most of its life, this car has been owned by Honda, and that's the reason it has so little mileage and it's in perfect condition. So if I'm reading the odometer right here, it has 1,272 miles, which is just uh, incredible. And that's why, so people will pay big money. So don't get caught up that a CR is now worth $80,000. A CR is not worth $80,000. Maybe they're worth thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars dollars $50,000. Uh, if we look at other Bring a Trailer listings, we can see that other cars have sold uh, in that, you know, $30,000 range, $40,000 range, and that's probably what they're really worth. So any car that has less than 2,000 miles is going to sell for a big premium. How big is that premium? Is it 50%? Is it uh, 30%? Somewhere in that range. So just to give you an idea, an Apex Blue, one of my favorite colors for this car, 2008 CR, with 9,000 miles sold for 56. Now you're gonna add you know, uh, the premium to that, so it's really about 58, 59, somewhere in that range. A 15,000 mile yellow, so real yellow purple, uh, pearl, sold for 48,000, and that had 15,000 miles. So that's kind of where they are. Then you see 100,000 mile cars that probably sell for 29, 30,000, heavily tracked car, maybe in the high 20s or something like that. But obviously this car's original paint, has all the VIN stickers, watch my video to see where the 10 VIN stickers are. And you're not gonna find a car that was actually owned by Honda, which I think really helps as far as future value and collectability, and then obviously the low mileage. So it's probably one of the best cars you can buy, certainly the best example of an S2000 CR, and I love it. So congratulations to the buyer. 
Uh, I think it's worth every penny. I mean, is it going to be a hundred thousand dollar car one day? I don't know. But if he keeps it long enough, he can get his money back and then some. Maybe he can get a hundred grand because of the history of this car. If of course he doesn't drive it and keeps the mileage low, he probably has to keep it under two thousand miles. So I think he can drive it about eight hundred miles here. But congratulations to the buyer. I am so jealous of you. I'm so thrilled that you got this car. And uh, guys, if you ever get a chance to buy a Honda S2000 CR, do it. And I'd love to review one someday. We have obviously millions of videos of my S2000s, but I've never actually driven and reviewed a CR. So if you're in the uh, northern New Jersey area, hit me up and I'd love to do a review of your CR. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a great day. I will see you next time.